video and I'm going to extend it and we're live. Okay, so first of all, can you tell me your name, spell it? My name is Charles Webster, C-H-A-R-L-E-S-W-E-B-S-T-E-R. -E -E okay, and the Chiron underneath your name, what, who are you with and what's your title? Uh, well, I'm, uh, I guess I'm the editor of a bunch of different blogs, uh, one of which is the Healthcare Business Process Management blog. Okay, and your Twitter handle? Uh, where Flow, so at sign W-A-R-E, capital F, capital L, capital O, Where Flow, like software, work flow, where flow. So tell me a little bit, what is some, if you look at HEMS 14, right. what has been sort of the most exciting trend or what excites you most about what's happening right now? Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, I'm an industrial engineer who went to medical school, so I'm interested in workflow and workflow technology. Healthcare IT has not had a lot of work, true workflow technology, and I've been tracking it for over a decade. And last year, I went to every single of the 1,200 websites of all the exhibitors, and I searched and I found everybody that talked about my favorite little area of workflow automation, and about 8% had it and I've been tweet I tweeted about them and so forth network this year I did the same thing and that number has gone up to between 16 and 20 percent so I'm seeing more than a double of the diffusion of what I like uh, of my favorite technology that healthcare needs uh, in out, out there on the floor okay great um Next year, what do you think before, so you're not disappointed when it comes to HEMS 15, what would you like to see in this coming out of HEMS 14 in the next year so you go, wow, I am even more excited? I, well, I'm, I'm pretty uh, monomaniacally uh, interested in workflow uh, because workflow is a series of steps, each of which consumes a resource, a cost, and achieves some goal. That's the value. And health IT mo needs more success in that area. So I want to see that 16 or 20 percent this year that was 8 percent last year. I'd like to see that to go up to a third of the vendors. And I would also like to see more, I mean, I'd like to see big signs that are saying, you know, here's our top 10 workflow uh, aware vendors. I'm mean, that kind of uh, uh, marketing to reward the folks that are investing in this technology. Give me an example, like a real life patient example of like if you were, or a real life example of what you're talking about. Sure. Like so-and-so has this disease and yeah. their care manager. And Absolutely. This is how it works. And okay. This is the perfect system. Okay. Uh, well, a lot of physicians don't like their electronic health records because they have to click a lot. They have to click a lot to find the next screen. And then on that screen, they have to click a lot and scroll a lot to find the right diagnosis or name of a symptom. If you had a workflow system, a workflow engine that understands the workflow of, let's say, a sick child versus a well child, which is a completely different set of screens, and then to present them automatically, that would save the doctor a lot of time. That doctor could see more patients. The patients would spend more time face to face with the doctor, and overall, you'd have a much more productive and efficient medical practice. Great. Which, um, when guilty pleasures as far as the hashtags that you follow? Twitter handles that are kind of must follows in your world? Uh, well, uh, let me, uh, in my world is a combination of the web, because the blogs, I have about a half a million words about workflow in healthcare. I'm sort of the, uh, I call myself the king of all workflow in healthcare. Uh, and uh, uh, and so I have I, I, I approve various efforts and, and say good job and I tweet about them. Um, I, in terms of hashtags, I, I, I basically hashtag workflow plus EHR hashtag EHR hashtag EMR and then of course hashtag health IT. Uh, and then, of course, here we just uh, came out of a meeting which was HITSIM, the hashtag HIT, Health Information Technology SIM, SM, Health Information Technology Social Media, because that's such a force for good and for education. So I've been using that relentlessly the last couple of years to, uh, to spread the word. Great. Um, 
you kind of explained it earlier, hmm? but um, your Twitter handle. Yes. How did you come up with your Twitter handle name? Well, uh, I actually, I, I, I actually have four degrees: uh, accounting, uh, industrial engineering, artificial intelligence, and medicine. I ha I'm all but dissertation in computational linguistics. So, ling in linguistics, you have something called a portmanteau. A portmanteau is a word that is made up of two different words smushed together. So, where flow at sign W A R F L O, where software and flow work flow. Uh, I also want to say that where, W-A-R, is also a pun on where, W-E-A-R, and so I'm very interested in wearable technology, and there's a, this is an example of wearable technology. This is Google Glass, I'm wearing it on my head, and I, uh, I get emails, I answer them hands-free, doctors are starting to use this, for example, a surgeon doesn't have to touch anything, doesn't have to break the sterile field, and yet still can have access to critical information about the patient. So, where flow. So you're recording us as we're recording you? Uh, no, you're recording me while I'm recording you. <laughs> there you go. Um, if you could have dinner with anybody in the healthcare industry, who would it be and why? I would like to have dinner with uh, Professor Will van der Alst. He is uh, in the Netherlands and he is not only a healthcare workflow specialist, he is a workflow expert worldwide, but he's done over 20 or 30 papers on uh, analyzing workflow and workflow plan patterns in healthcare uh, that could literally save billions. I've met him several times, I've never had a chance to uh, have a beer and break bread, but that's what would be my favorite uh, dinner. Thank, well, thank you very much, Kathy. That was awesome. That was very fun. I loved it. Are you going to get his eye thing and his... Yeah, I didn't explain what that was, but oh well. Oh well. Social media bathroom. Yeah. I'm going to go... All right. And, and, and I can just email you or you can email me when something comes out? Yes. Did I get a card yesterday? Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not sure if you did, but uh, please, because my wife and my mother want to see this. I will. Thank you very much, Kathy. I have that problem with the field thing. What's that? You know, when you're clicking. Yeah. I have to put my year of birth in. Yeah. I have to scroll down for about a half hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, makes me feel, realize how old I am every time well. I have to <laughs> Why does it take me 10 minutes to get to my year of birth? Uh, well, you know now, uh, Now, for example, uh, uh, there's ICD-10 as a new coding system that's coming out, and we're going to quadruple the number of diagnostic codes. Well, that means we're quadrupling the amount of scrolling. Wow. So we really need to figure out a better way for doctors to do a data entry. No, when you said that, it's very, you know... I never thought about it. I mean, I have thought about it for myself, and then I, I hear myself, not just the year thing, but I'm like, oh, I'm exhausted from clicking, and I'm like, well, really, you know, well, we, it, in, have in, the, in, the, in, in the consumer world, uh, there's a lot of clicking and a lot of scrolling, uh, but it's pretty manageable. I mean, Amazon does a really good job of, you know, trying to figure out what you want to look at next and so forth. However, healthcare is so complicated that the, the space of possible places you want to go and the, and the possible list of things you might want to click on is so, is like hundreds or thousands of times larger than just, you know, the workaday world that that can be overwhelming. And, but you're a technical person, so uh, I'm sure you've confronted uh, software uh, for editing purposes or managing ar uh, video archive libraries. And in fact, uh, some of the most sophisticated workflow software in the world is actually in the uh, multimedia processing because you have a set of steps. Right. And for example, if you use like Photoshop or I imagine Adobe Premiere or whatever the high-end stuff is, if you do like these seven things in a row over and over and over again, you can turn that into a script or a macro and then, and then apply it in batch. And that just saves you a lot of work. And healthcare needs that kind of thing to save the doctor's time and effort. Yeah, you, uh, uh, how did you become such a, I mean, this become your passion? Uh, it, 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 it's just, you know, life is, uh, you know, uh, have you ever heard of Soren Kierkegaard? He's a Danish philosopher. Um, and uh, one of his fav my fa favorite sayings of his is, uh, life is experienced forward but understood backward. And so uh, how I got here was a series of accidents. Uh, but when I tell people about it, I tell it in a different sort of way. You know, uh, people aren't interested in, maybe they want to see the outcome. And so I, uh, you know, so, so it all sounds very logical, uh, except it really was just a set of uh, serendipitous uh, moments. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. Yep.
Alright, Chad, Mark, Mark, Chad. Hi, Chad. Go ahead, do the mic. And then Mandy's next.